So similar to the previous questions, kind of a good segue. Uh, should I pick my own stocks? If so, how should I decide? If not, how should I vet the person who will be handling my investment? This is a kind of a three-part question, Lee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I, I have a unique perspective in that I've, and, and not to, I'm not trying to make this all about iFlip, but I've been associated with the company since I was pretty young. So I, I've really never had the need to go and hire someone to manage my money. I mean, in theory, I have, the, I've hired the AI to, you know, manage my investments for me. And I, wholeheartedly believe in it. And that's why, you know, I practice what I preach. Um, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that I don't pick my own stocks. You know, um, I don't do it too often. I wouldn't say that it's, you know, for the typical person, it's probably not wise to put their whole, you know, IRA or their whole personal account and just manually trade it. Um, historically, we've seen us as humans are not very good traders. I, I forget the exact number, but it's like 90 something percent of people that that trade don't make money. So, uh, I mean, from, from that perspective, I, I'd be a little bit cautious, but, um, I mean, I, gosh, I've, I've had some trades that went very, very well. I'm currently in one that's not doing very well. And, and as a result, I'm forced to hold on to this stock until it gets back, you know, around where I sold it, or at least hope that it goes, excuse me, that it comes back to where I bought it at. And hopefully it does get there at some point. But uh, again, back to the last question about having a plan, I, I think you have to, and you might touch on this as well, Aaron, but you, know, you have to have a plan. If you're just buying something and, and praying that it's going to go you know, a certain way, then I'm not sure you have much of a plan, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, I, I mean, the, the, the first thing that I see when I hear like, should I pick my own stocks? Um, the first response and follow-up question that I have is, well, based on based on what, right? Because if you're, no, I don't think anyone just chooses their own stocks uh, randomly. I think everybody, even professionals, have a research area, right? They they do some research that influences their decision. It's not like picking a number in roulette. Although that is how some people do it. And funnily enough, there have been cases where uh, I'm sure you've seen like TV shows where they're like, oh, this cat uh, picks random stocks just randomly, right? And it does it outperforms the professionals, right? Um, because it does sometimes feel like pure luck. It does sometimes feel like playing roulette. Um, but I think the most, for the most part, even professionals, they base their picks on some form of research. So the question is, where are you doing your research? If you're doing your research from um, the latest meme stock, meme stock that's trending, right? Like uh, AMC or GameStop in, uh, what was it, last year or two years ago? I forget exactly when they were trending or the latest crypto. Remember when Dogecoin was supposed to go to $3? I'm still waiting for that, right? You know, <laughs> if, if that's the premise of your research and your stock picks, your crypto picks, then uh, then maybe, um, maybe that, that game isn't, isn't the best one you should be playing. I've been saying this, and I said this during our crypto masterclass that we had in January and February, uh, this is not a dabbling kind of game. Uh, the, the art of stock picking, the art of trading and uh, all of that kind of stuff, the art of navigating the financial markets to make profit is basically like playing a professional sport against professional league players. So if you're not ready to go up against Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and you're you're not really aware that that's who you're that's who you're up against, um, and you, you have to be ready for that, then it, it isn't you're, you're you have a 97 percent chance, like Lee said, of losing money and letting them take your money. So that's why people who have experienced that want to leave it to somebody else. I don't know. Uh, it, the first thing that I would ask to, to answer that last part of the question, how do I vet the person who will be handling my investment is I would first check if they're a licensed certified, uh, uh, certified financial planner or one of those licenses, because while that might seem like it, a symbol of credibility, to me, it's actually a red flag. Um, 
because the nature of how they're trained is they're trained to when the market is doing what it's doing right now, which is going down, they're trained to stop you from exiting your positions because the way they make their living is they make a percentage of the money you have exposed in the market. So in other words, unless you unless you're in the market and losing, they don't get paid. So it's in their best interest, and they don't tell you this, but it is the reality of it. Uh, they're, 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 it's in their best interest to make you stay in the market and lose. I don't like that. I don't. That's that's a red flag to me. That's why to me, iFlip is a, a very good, probably the best that I've seen. Is the best alternative is that they're actually going to automatically exit. They're not going to check with me. They're not going to ask me. Uh, hey. The market, we think the market's going to go down. Uh, should Do you want us to sell this, sell out? No, I don't have time for that. Just sell it yeah. and, and I'll just deal with it later, right? Um, and for the most part, for the big moves, for the big crashes, it's been right on the money. For the little ones, you could argue either way. But for the big ones, we've had crashes in 2018, fourth quarter 2018, the COVID crash in 2020. And the crash we're experiencing right now, we're in the middle of a, of a correction right now. iFlip has dodged them all again, like Neo in the Matrix. So I'm like, all right, that's, a, that's three for three, right? And, and continuing the sports analogy, if you're three for three, I'm, I'm going to give you, uh, in any sport, right? I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt for the next one as well. So I think this is a really good spot for, for most people who are iffy. Um, I do also think that, you know, if you want to get, educated this is also a really good place to get educated we're actually having an event in in dallas in october i hope everyone here already knows about that we've been talking about it a lot uh and and it's a that's a really good place to determine and learn for yourself hey am i cut out for this game of stock picking do i have what it takes i don't really know it's a good place to find out so we hope to see you all in in dallas lee anything to add yeah do you do you, um not even alluded, but you also said it, um, and I don't think it can be emphasized enough, but if, you know, not to make it sound like it's this uphill battle that's impossible, but I mean, if you take the, the majority of people on the planet, you know, to make another sports reference to compete with, say, Steph Curry on a free throw competition, that's yeah. at, at some point kind of what it feels like when you're trading on your own. And don't get me wrong, there are people that might beat him, and there are traders that I know that are very, very good. But it's also the the time investment that they make in picking, you know, the the things that they invest into that you have to be prepared for if you're going to pick your own stocks. I think if if you don't want to spend the time on it, then it's most likely not for you. Yeah. Well, the question is for all of you watching at home. Do you pick your own stocks or do you let someone else do it? Do you let uh, do you subscribe to a newsletter that gives you picks or are you a uh, iFlip subscriber that just lets the AI do it all for you? Whichever one, whichever uh, category you fall into, please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.